Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Katana. Um, so we're going to go over what it is. We're also going to do some test footage out in the Everglades. And then finally, we're going to finish it up with a little review. So stay tuned. We got a lot coming up for you. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, I am here with my mother, Robin. Hi, everybody. And she's so excited about doing tech stuff that she thought she would help me out today. So um, today we are going to be talking about the katana. Which is this. And what is that? I have no idea. <laughs> OK, so I was reading the forums the other day and uh, looking on the Facebook forums. And I had noticed in the DJI Mavic Pro forum, uh, someone as a joke kind of put this katana on there and uh, and they said oh boy you know now you can use your your Mavic as a gimbal and do you know what a gimbal is mom no but there used to be a gimbal store in Pittsburgh <laughs> Pennsylvania back in the 50s <laughs> well it definitely doesn't have to do with fashion or anything like that um, but what it does have to do with is uh, is this uh, little guy on here you can see that there's a camera and the camera is actually able to move uh, and it helps stabilize the, the, the picture quality. So that's, uh, that's why we like, we like to use gimbals. And, and actually my mom and I have used um, the DJI uh, Osmo Mobile for some of the fun videos that we've done in the past. And she said, oh, that thing is really cool. That thing is really cool because it's a gimbal. Uh, oh, so there you go. Um, so let's get started with this unboxing. Um, I'm gonna let you do the honors. Well, thank you. I already set it to the Wi-Fi mode um, instead of the uh, remote control mode. And if you don't know where to find those, I'm sure you'll find that if you, if you look where you put your uh, micro SD card, you'll see a little switch in there. And that switch will help you uh, change it over from remote control mode to Wi-Fi mode. Um, so let's figure it out. Uh, do they actually have instructions in there? Okay. There's this piece. I don't think that goes to anything. I'm going to actually let you try to set it up. I'm actually not going to. <laughs> I am actually going to read you how uh, to set it up. Okay. Make sure Mavic is on W or Wi-Fi mode. <laughs> Now is also a good time to remove props. I okay. Can't, I can't see. <laughs> Would you like to put your glasses on? You'll excuse me for a minute. I am going to get my glasses. <laughs> Ooh. All right. That's better. I don't know. This is... Uh... Is there a skinnier part? Uh, undo some of this one. Thanks, Mom. Well, let's just see. Now stop. This will be edited. Perfect. Is it getting, Are we getting? Is it, no, we're not getting down there. All right. So this was just a little bit hard to do on your own. <laughs> and I'm glad I actually have a helper today. Line up crossbar just behind battery button. Well, I think we did that, didn't we? Or is, is this the crossbar? What does it say? Line up what? <laughs> Line up crossbar is this a crossbar i don't know that's a phone holder you can adjust the mavic forward or backward until you find your desired weight balance so they mean I, this i think this is a good balance okay How, how's it feel for you well i i will never be doing this oh you might be today i don't think this is anything i think this is so people can hang it from the store mom oh Oh, it is. <laughs> this is not part of it. Th that is not part of it. Um. <laughs> oh, that's just a lever. I see. Okay. Step seven. Open Wi-Fi networks and connect to Mavic. All right. I am now connecting to Mavic. Let's see. Ooh, okay. I just heard mom's belly rumble, so she must be hungry. As soon as we get this going, we are going to take a quick break for a short lunch. I think we actually have a gimbal, but uh, we're going to do a little testing outside to see how it 
to see how it works. So now we have an official gimbal. Ooh, fancy. All right, I'm glad. Mom, we are heading to Arthur Marshall National Refuge. Um, and the reason why we're going there is because we can get some amazing drone shots because the drone actually has a wide angle lens. Um, so you're going to be able to get those beautiful landscapes and no, things like that. No, we're not getting a drone shot. We're getting a... Uh Katana, Katana shot. shot. <laughs> um, so you probably remember I was really bummed when we went to uh, Canyon Ranch because we were at Sabino Canyon and we weren't able to actually get, um, or I wasn't able to take my drone up because uh, it's a national park. So the same situation applies here. We cannot actually use uh, a drone at this particular refuge. So we are gonna head out there and try to use the katana and hopefully see some amazing animals and uh, hopefully we'll have some luck today. I hope so. <laughs> My mom is a goof. <laughs> I never know when you're filming or not. <laughs> so. you, you see the little uh, the ticker? So you know I'm filming. So oh, so, so, so talk okay. away. <laughs> see, today I shot a 79 on the golf course. For those of you who don't know, my mom is, like, is almost professional golfer. Not true. True. But she's, I, she's like the club champion at every resort she ever. But the important thing is I beat my husband. <laughs> by about 10 or 15 strokes. But oh, for the man. record, she beats everybody. <laughs> Not true. True. So we have just arrived um, at Loxahatchee and we're gonna go do a little exploring with uh, the katana. All right, so we're just gonna get everything set up right now. I'm just uh, tightening the screws on the katana and then I'm gonna hand it over to my camera system for the day. We're, we are ready to walk. Are you ready, Mom? I'm ready and I'm looking forward to it. All right. Oh, and uh, just for the record, uh, my mom calls this her nun cap. Um, but if you live in Florida, you kind of have to be careful about the sun. So she's very careful and that's a good thing. Yeah, so Mom is going to be in charge of the katana. And I'm going to be holding the Sony FDRX 3000 um, and she's been making a lot of noise while I was setting up uh, in the back because she said she hears a lot of movement in the, in the bushes. And I want them to know that there's humans here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little test shots with the, with the katana. Um, so I need you to hit that record button, Mom. If you can make the, the camera actually more parallel. Yeah, so what you're looking for is that horizon. So that, that means you got a good shot if you can see that horizon. Um, and when you're walking, you should always be walking with very soft knees. Um, that will help the bobbing up and down. At least when I use the uh, DJI Osmo Mobile, I do tend to get um, in the screen, you can see some up and down motion because because uh, the, the gimbal just, I mean, it's good, but it, it's not, can't, can't fix all of that. I'm, I'm not sure we'll have to review the footage when we get home. <laughs> it's a little, it's very awkward to try to keep this so steady as you walk. It's next to impossible. We'll see from the footage. That's all. I feel like I have to keep my arms straight, so there's an awful lot of tension, but then walk very lightly, so it's really not that convenient. Now, a lot of photographers, one of the tricks of the trade they'll, they'll tell you is actually to use your body or your elbows against your body okay. as just another uh, tool of stabilization. So, um, she, it, I mean, the katana is actually making you do that uh, automatically, I guess. It, kind of is, but I can feel it going up and down as I take a step. So that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> My mom's playing with camera. <laughs> She's a very good cameraman. Actually heading over to a, um, I don't know, what, you, what would you call that? A blind? A blind? 
I think. Is that what they're that. called? Okay, so yeah, there's a. Uh, it's a viewing know, area. A viewing area um, for the park. So in we're old actually hunting over there. areas. They used to call it a blind. Say so again. In old hunting areas, and they used to call it a blind so that you could shoot the animals. But this is a national park. We're not going to do any shooting, other than with the camera. camera. Oh, other than with the katana. Now, whenever I come out here, I uh, I like to look for what what appears to be rocks in the in the water, and those rocks are usually alligators. So we're just keeping in our our eye peeled for them. All right, so this is going to be our running shot. <laughs> are you ready? There you go. Let's go. <laughs> How's it feel, Mom? It's a little awkward. But... I swear my mom is such a good sport. Mom just asked a question, uh, and this is the northern part of the Everglades, and we're we're pretty lucky that we actually live pretty close to it, although this is my mom's first time, but... Um, on this part of the Everglades. On yeah. this part of the Everglades. <laughs> There's my mom. All right, Mom. I mean, do you want to try to head back? We can walk down this path if you want, or back that way. Either way. Let's try the different path. And then uh, maybe we'll have some alligator luck. Perfect. Perfect! Where I was golfing, and a girl went, oh, went in the pond. And she went to retrieve the ball with a, with a golf club. And of course, the thing came lunging at her. Now, that's it missed. why would you do that? The golf ball's about three or four bucks. That's all I. <laughs> so you like this because you think it takes place of the drone? It's not that it takes place of the drone, but when we were in Sabino Canyon, I was not allowed to take the drone for flight. But it has such a good camera and gimbal on it that I can still get those amazing shots by just hand holding it. See what the results show. Oh, my mom's like, why the hell are we here? Hey, okay. I'm serious. So we can either see, we can see a Florida cottonmouth, <laughs> we can see a yellow rat snake, a green <laughs> anhole, I think an a-hole, a brown water snake, or American alligator. So there you That's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> so, so we are walking in the wetlands. Um, and I just made a deal with my mom. She's going to look left while I look right. Be just for safety's sake, because it's very bushy over here. And you can't really... Jeez, if something's here, you really can't see what it is. <laughs> I'm not crying in sweat. I'm just trying to show my mom like things that we're kind of looking for. Um, this is definitely where they go in. And uh, definitely where they go out. Um, my mother had said earlier that uh, you know they're probably hiding in the bushes in there, and I think that's probably pretty right on. <laughs> yeah, check these tracks out, and th th those those are not car tracks. <laughs> those are some big mamas in there. All right, so we got to try the katana out, the katana, um, but uh, we did not have any luck with alligators, but. Uh, won't be the last time we try. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. So, I'm crying. I don't remember why. Because she didn't see any crocodiles or alligators. I didn't see any crocodiles, but I'm sweating my butt off. Okay, in Florida, I know there's only alligators. That is not true. Recently, in the southern part of the Everglades, they have found two crocodiles. They imagine that they were imported from another country. Really? But they're finding that this habitat works fine for them. Just an aside. Okay. Well, this is sweat. This is more sweat than I sweated in Sabino Canyon. And it's hot and it's Florida. So bye-bye. All right. So um, the first piece of footage that we're going to be importing is going to be the, uh, the DJI Mavic Pro along with the Katana. Um, so we will see how that turns out. Um, hopefully it'll be good. We're almost there. All right. So mom 
normally she would just like run out of here after we do something but she was actually interested in seeing the footage so uh, the ones that have a little play button you're just gonna click that uh, just to get an idea of uh, how the footage turned out is that me walking uh, yeah. it, it is okay what my mother is seeing now um, it's, not bad. it's not bad but there is a slight rolling shutter on it um, when she's taking a heavier step okay I stepped lightly, honey. Oh, I bet you look cute. <laughs> oh. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Actually, this looks really good. Do you see that that, that little uh, yes. shaking? That's called rolling shutter. <laughs> Oh, well then when I go for a little jog, it's gonna look terrible. Yeah, probably. Um, now in this scene she's actually doing some panning uh, just standing and panning and you can see that I mean it's this is really good would you agree yes All right, so, let's, so let's take another shot Here roll you it go. <laughs> all right I now have control of the computer that was too fast. a little fast yeah I don't think I knew I was filming then, did I? I think I was filming actually. Oh. Yes, that was actually <laughs> me filming. And actually that looks really good with the going up shot. That was really nice. That looks good though, don't you think, Mom? Yes. It looks very good. I'm serious. L little fast, okay, yeah. She's panning way, way too, fast. too fast. She told me to go very slowly. You did. I know. <laughs> I love it when you're ahead of me. That's pretty good. Totally good. Maybe. But you can see, again, like when we get those little jitters, that's a little bit of rolling shutter, as well as the up and down, which you also get with the DJI uh, Osmo Mobile. Um, so the key really is just to, you know, have soft knees and to, um, to, to walk slowly. I think this is the running shot here. Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> Oh, you can't. Yeah, it's... You can't do it. You can't, you can't do it. I, I wouldn't do that with a katana. Oh. <laughs> oh. You can't. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my. Okay. Yeah. Mm, oh. Fail. When we went to Sabino Canyon in uh, Arizona, we had similar shots uh, when I was using my FDRX 3000. And yeah, like like totally just couldn't even watch it. Sorry, Ollie's busy in the back. I'm a much better panner than you are. Oh yeah, she, this is some excellent panning by my mother. I'm serious. <laughs> This is good. All right, job well done. Mom is hired as uh, the official cameraman. I go fast over the road. Yeah. Really. Yeah, it's really good when when we're still, but the walking shots, it, it's it's, the, it's not it's, right. Yeah. And uh, I really tried to walk softly. And I really wanted this to work. All right, so this is the last last shot that we have. Actually, you are definitely walking softly here, and that's good. Now that's I good. stopped, and that's why it works so well. Yeah. Uh, I see it. You could tell I'm going slowly. I can tell. And slow is definitely better than, um, than, than walking. 
does look pretty though. It looks pretty, but I can see you should never point it out that shutter thing, whatever you call it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm seeing now. Right. All right, so we have... Uh, Wait, can we see what we took earlier? You want to see all the shots? When you were... Well, well let, let's just first talk about Katana, and then... And I, then... I'm going to leave. I know, but... Let's finish the review. <laughs> I thought we did. All right, let's just have a little one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Mom. Initial thoughts. I thought it was awkward to hold. I tried to walk as steadily as I could, and I can still see the screen jumping, and she refers to it as shutter or something. <laughs> Rolling and shutter. So I think it's a fail unless you're standing still. Then I think it's beautiful shots. Okay, so would you recommend that someone uh, purchase this along with their, with their drone, or uh, just, just Leave it just drone shots. Instead of saying bye, I'd say bye bye. <laughs> All right, so we got a, a fail on the katana. <laughs> Good job, Mom.